We've had successful liftoff of Falcon 9 as it carries SES-12 to geostationary transfer orbit. Eagles We're coming up on max Q here in a pressure. few seconds. Max Q, remember, as we increase our velocity, pressure increases, but then we're going through less dense atmosphere, so pressure decreases. Everything after max Q means the scarce density is decreasing the pressure on the vehicle. And there's the second umbilical tower now separating. We are 10 seconds, Ignition, 10 seconds from oxygen. launch. Five, four, three, two, one. See the engines igniting there. And lift off of Soyuz MS. 08 carrying, uh, MS-09 carrying Serena Anand Chancellor, Sergei Prokopiev and Alexander Gerst to the International Space Station for a, a six month stay to uh, Everything is now complete uh, research on board the space station. 20 seconds. Good uh, help us here on the Earth as well as in space. We're fine. Thirty seconds. <coughs> Beautiful. Everything is nominal. Still getting good views of the Soyuz as it pulls away from the launch pad in Baikonur. The launch took place at 6.12 a.m. Central Time, right on schedule. Everything going seconds. according to plan so far as the Soyuz uh, delivers 930,000 pounds of thrust from its four, four boosters and single engine. The first stage of the Soyuz measures 68 feet in length and 24 feet in diameter, burning liquid fuel for the first Pitch two minutes and six seconds of flight. Roll. Everything's nominal. Systems are nominal. Good. Still getting great views of the Soyuz. Now one minute and uh, 45 seconds into today's flight.
Five. Minutes, 15 seconds. Everything is go. Ten, nine. T minus eight. eight seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We have ignition and liftoff. The Falcon 9 rocket powers the Dragon spacecraft toward the International Space Station, laden with new research for the multinational crew. Initial prop is nominal. Eagle is pitching downrange. At one minute, five seconds after liftoff, Falcon 9 reaches transonic speed. The vehicle will pass through the area of maximum aerodynamic pressure, or max Q, at 1 minute 18 seconds after liftoff. This is the point when, telemetry nominal. when mechanical stress on the rocket reaches its peak because of the rocket's velocity and resistance created by the Earth's atmosphere. One minute into flight. and the Falcon 9 is supersonic. As you can see the contrail as the rocket passes through maximum dynamic pressure. Vehicle has reached maximum dynamic pressure. Just over one minute left in the flight of the first stage of the Falcon 9. At around two minutes, 35 seconds into the flight, all nine engines will sequentially shut down and you'll hear the call Miko, which is main engine cutoff. And back engine two. The MVAC is the second stage Merlin vacuum engine. It's being chilled for its operation, which will uh, get underway in a little bit more than 30 seconds. Standing by for main engine cutoff. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. Miko and stage separation confirmed. The first stage of the Falcon 9 rocket, having done its job, falls away from the second stage. MVAC ignition. MVAC ignition. The Merlin vacuum engine has ignited. Stage 1 AFTS is saved. The MVAC engine and the second stage will burn for about six and a half minutes, bringing Dragon into low Earth orbit. The engine produces 210,000 pounds of thrust. The vehicle is on a nominal trajectory. 